Welcome to Tiger TV. I'm Nara Brazil. Today is Monday, February 14, 2022. I hope you had a great weekend. Now let's prepare to recite the school pledge. And now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Pound's Pledge. And now we will recite the Pound's Pledge. As a proud South of the Academy Tiger, I'm prepared to learn. I'm open to the diversity of others. I'm unique and have my own gifts and talents. I'm noble and demonstrate integrity. I'm capable of achieving greatness and I'm engaged in learning. We have a few announcements to help us to move forward. Thank you, anchors. Good morning. My name is Christian. Bring weather report for Monday. Today will be partly cloudy with high of 32 degrees. Tonight will be clear, low of 18 degrees. Have a good day. Now for Gigi News. Today's word of the day is critique. To evaluate in a detailed way. When we critique a novel in school, we need to give as many details as possible to explain how we feel about the book. Critique. Growing up in Compton, California, professional tennis player Serena Williams had already defeated the odds when she won Wimbledon in 2015. For the second time, the 33-year-old champion had won four major titles in a row. Recognizing her extraordinary talent, Sports Illustrated named Williams Sports Person of the Year. A mix of style and substance, Serena always makes a statement. Serena, along with Big Sis Venus, stole the spotlight at the grand opening of the Southeast Tennis and Learning Center in Ward 8. Both have supported the center since it opened in 2001. That same year, 19-year-old Serena, despite being booed by a predominantly white crowd, won the Indian Wells Tournament in California. Putting aside the past and returning to Indian Wells in 2015, Serena proved that her ability to face adversity head-on is what makes her a true champion. Don't forget to buy your yearbook. Sale ends May 1st, 2022. Yearbooks this year cost $15. Money can be paid to Miss Hurst in room C7. Student Council Meeting Reminder. There will be a student council meeting on Tuesday, February the 15th, 2022 in room B9 from 2.50 p.m. to 3.50 p.m. Also, join me in congratulating our new student council officers. Seneca Ahmed, President. Kamari Corbin Yates, Vice President. Noah Scott, our Secretary. And Young Hoy, our historian. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Gross. Attention Art Club, this is a reminder that this Tuesday, February the 15th, will be our next Art Club meeting. I'm so excited to see all of you there. Again, Art Club will meet this Tuesday, February the 15th, from 2.50 to 3.50 p.m. in room 19. See you at Art Club. It's that time again. Time for our quarter two hallway party. Have you pounced all quarter long? Then it's time to party. It's party time. Sixth graders will have their party day on the 16th, seventh graders on the 18th, and eighth graders on the 18th of February. Some of the activities include arts and crafts, video games, UNO, and more. You can attend if you have no more than three minor incidences or no referrals. Excellent job, Tigers. We appreciate you. Keep up the great work. Bye. Thank you for tuning into Tiger TV today. Do your best work. Have a marvelous Monday.